what if you played a survival game where you got to turn into a werewolf? Wolf Survive is such a game when where players will be taking control of a character who turns into a werewolf. The way I see this game being viewed is third person, on where the players will also have an option to go into first person if they want to. Because this is a survival game, the player will be having a bar that will represent its hunger. This bar will gradually decrease over the course of the game. This is important because this will affect the player's stamina and his werewolf form, and if the bar reaches zero, the player will die. The anti-force in this game, which sole purpose is to take out the player, will be militia forces that are roaming the forest along with predators from that forest. The next set of slides will be talking about the player's actions on what he'll be able to do and decisions he'll make. Some of the decisions that the player will have will be able to use his axe, his bow, or his wolf form to take out enemies. The player himself will be playing within a forest, and he'd have to traverse the forest in order to find his own food. While the player is hunting and killing his prey, he'll be able to gather the resources from his prey to use for a crafting system. The crafting in the game will allow the player to build and improve his armor, make his own arrows, and along with improving the handle grip for his axe. So let's run through a gameplay scenario. We have the player, we have a tree or bush that the player can go and hide behind. Next we have one of the militia. The militia spots the player. So the player can quickly run and hide behind the bush and the guard or militia will run over to where the player was. He doesn't see the player so he goes around to the other side where the player can actually quickly dispatch of that militia. Now the player himself of course is hunting for his own food he'll also be able to sneak attack any of his food that he sees. The game will be having a day and night cycle. During the day, the player will be able to walk around, hunt, and gather wood. But however, during the day, he's also going to be hunted down by the enemies within the game, which will be the other predators along with the militia. So it's better at night if the player decides he wants to go and hunt instead. However, the player needs to survive for seven days and seven nights. The reason for this will become apparent within the story. Some comparisons for this game would be Tomb Raider, the new series that they did with uh, Laura Croft on where she becomes the Tomb Raider, and Skyrim with their werewolf mechanic of being able to transform in and out of the werewolf form. Some of the risk encounters could be if at the end of one month the predators are not at least 50% complete, we will have to cut the number of predators we have down. If at the end of another month the militia isn't where we want it, we will have to just take our base militia, change their stats around, and color for different types of militia. At the end of two months, if our maps are not at least 70% complete, we will have to cut those sizes down in order to get them where we want by launch. And at the end of three months, if our crafting system is not at 70% at least, it will be scrapped from the game. My name is Robert Michael Dawes-Hegan, and thank you for taking your time to look at my presentation for Wolf Survive.